The SF90 Stradale was one of the most technologically advanced cars Ferrari had ever produced when it arrived in 2019. It was the most powerful production car to come from the Italian mark and featured a far more complex hybrid system than the one found in the glorious V12 engined LaFerrari. While the SF90 was only available in coupe form though, it was only a matter of time before a drop top was unveiled. And that time has now come. On paper, the SF90 Spider is essentially a convertible version of the Stradale, meaning a near 1000 bhp power output and a sub 3 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time. However, the lack of a fixed roof means Ferrari has needed to make a few changes to the formula. With this in mind, here are 5 things you need to know about the SF90 Spider. But before we jump into the list, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. In terms of power, the SF90 Spider is identical to the Coupe. It's powered by the same 4-litre twin-turbocharged V8 engine as the SF90 Stradale, which is hooked up to a pair of electric motors for a total output of 986 brake horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. That makes the SF90 Spider the most powerful convertible the company has ever made. In fact, it could be the most powerful convertible of all time. Hang on a minute, aren't the Hennessy Venom GT Spider or Koenigsegg Agera RS faster and more powerful than the SF90 Spider? Well, they're technically Targas because the section of the roof that can be removed is pretty small and needs to be done manually. They're more like semi-convertibles rather than a full drop top. The SF90 Spider, meanwhile, has a folding roof mechanism and like the McLaren 720S Spider, it needs to store the roof behind the cabin. So is it the world's fastest convertible? We think so, but tell us we're wrong in the comment section below. Whether you deem it as the world's fastest convertible or not, there's no denying that the SF90 Spider is ludicrously fast. All that power means the drop top hypercar has a top speed of 212 miles per hour, and thanks to the electric motors being positioned over the front axle, it can charge from 0 to 62 in 2.5 seconds. To add a little context to those numbers, the million pound LaFerrari Aperta completes the same sprint in about 3 seconds. When travelling at well over 200 miles per hour with the roof off, things can get a little hot in the engine bay. And because the coupe featured cooling ducts behind the doors and cabin, which are absent on the Spider, Ferrari had to add a pair of air vents on top of the engine bay to keep the motor cool without disturbing the car's aerodynamics. When building a convertible, you can't simply take the roof off without strengthening the chassis, which can be quite costly in terms of weight. That's because the roof is a key structural part of the car. Take it away and the floor becomes the only element connecting the car's front and rear sections. There are some exceptions to the rule, cars fitted with carbon tubs such as the McLaren lineup are rigid enough not to need extra strengthening. But the SF90 is made of aluminium and therefore needs a bit of work to regain its rigidity. While the aluminium retractable roof is 40 kilograms lighter than the equivalent fabric top, the SF90 Spider is actually 100 kilograms heavier than the coupe. That's in part due to the chassis strengthening, but the mechanism needed to operate the roof also adds pesky weight. In total, the SF90 Spider weighs in at a not so lightweight 1,670 kilograms. When you think of a plug in hybrid or PHEV, the first thing that'll probably spring into your head is the Mitsubishi Outlander or the BMW 330e. But as is the case with the coupe version, SF90 Spider is technically a PHEV. That's because the 7.9 kilowatt hour battery can be topped up using an electric car charger. A full charge will get you up to 15 and a half miles as rated under WLTP of zero emission motoring. Perfect for pulling out of your neighborhood in silence. Actually, let's face it. If you're in the market for an SF90 Spider, you probably don't have neighbors. Just outhouses for the um, help. If there's nowhere to charge your SF90 Spider, you can always do it the old fashioned way by taking it out for a drive, which will gradually top up the battery. What made the SF90 Stradale so impressive is that it offered the same level of performance as a LaFerrari, but at a third of the price. 
And with the LaFerrari Aperta costing in excess of £3 million on the used market today, the Stradale's price tag of €473,000 or £424,000 makes it a relative bargain. Sure, it doesn't have a screaming V12, but it's brimming with tech and looks as striking as a Ferrari hypercar should be. For all the latest Ferrari news, head over to yesauto.com. <laughs>